everyone and welcome to the Waffle Flower channel. It's Shannon here and today I'm going to be demonstrating watercoloring with your inks. I've got the Waffle Flower stamp sets out that I'm going to use there, but I'm starting here with the Congrats stamp set for my sentiment. I'm going to pull off the Celebrate and Your Special Day. I'm positioning them here and then I'll pick up those stamps with my Misty and I will stamp them in VersaFine Black Onyx ink. It's a awesome, awesome black ink. If you've never tried it before, you should go get it. It's so worth it. It's the best black ink I've ever used. Okay, that's the first step stamp set. I'm pulling off that flower. It may be succulent, but today it's going to be a flower. And I'm going to pull off some leaves from the leafy stamp set, those solid leaves there. There's a large and a medium, and a flower from that leafy stamp set. I'm going to start with the large flower from the first step stamp set and the leaves from the leafy stamp set. I'm going to basically put them together as a grouping. I'm going to stamp, pick them up with my Misty and then I'm going to ink them up in uh, Waffle Flowers Peace of Mind ink. It's a beautiful color. I just love it. I will um, stamp it twice or ink it up and stamp it twice so I can have a nice clean crisp image. I do this almost every time I stamp just so I always get a clean crisp image. That's why the Misty is so so such a great tool. It allows you to do that. So I stamped it twice. Now I'm going to move that grouping around the flower and the leaves to um, basically create pattern paper and balance out those images, get them over, all over on that pattern, that piece of paper. Now I am actually stamping on a piece of watercolor paper. This is because I will be watercoloring on top of this once I'm done um, stamping all my flowers and leaves. It's nice too about creating your own pattern paper because you can allow the sentiment, you can leave room for the sentiment, which is always nice because sometimes when you try to stamp the sentiment on top of pattern paper, it's competing too much with the pattern paper and you can't really see it, but here I just left stamped it first and then stamped my images around it. So you can really see that sentiment still. Okay, I've moved on to the flower now. It's a small flower. It's from the Leafy stamp set. And I'm going to kind of fill in some of the blanks with that leaf, that flower. And again, I'm using the Peace of Mind uh, ink. That is a dye ink. All the waffle flower inks today I'm going to use are dye inks. All waffle flower dye inks are awesome and they work so well with water. Almost done here. A couple more flowers to go. Stamp, I'm going to stamp that little flower one more time over here in the corner once I get it just perfect. And I'm going to go fill in that space up top with a um, another large flower and leaf. Stamp it twice. Okay, so that's my pattern paper. I did debate here whether I could get another flower in there. It just won't fit, so I'm just going to leave that gap alone. Okay, so those are my inks. I've got New Fish and Pond, Oh Happy Day, and Peace of Mind again. I'm going to take the New Fish and Pond and press it down on my acrylic block. I'm just pressing on the upper portion of the stamp pad and on the other half of the acrylic block I'm stamping or pressing down uh, oh happy or happy go lucky happy go lucky which is like a purple so I misted it with my little spray bottle little fine mist and that kind of mix that water mixes with the ink and basically creates like a watercolor I'm gonna paint Pick up that paint with or that ink, that water done ink with my brush, and I'm painting that big flower. I'm not gonna paint, I'm painting each petal, but I'm starting at the the base of the the center of the petal and working out, but I'm not painting the very outer edge. I'm keeping that a little bit white, and that's just to add some more visual interest. If it was all solid color, it'd be uh, just a just a little bit boring. Just leaving those tips a little white just makes it a little bit more interesting. <coughs> Excuse me. And I, I don't know if you saw, but I also painted that small flower, the base of it, which I'm doing, I'll do here in just a second, I'll paint another one. Painting the base of those small flowers right there with that new fish and pond too. Just the base, not the whole flower, just the base of the flower. Now I'm going to move on to the purple, the happy-go-lucky. 
and I'm painting the upper portion of that small flower with the happy-go-lucky, that purple. Also going to dot those those upper those portions too. And then I'm going to move also paint the centers of those flower those large flowers with the purple as well. I'm not going to paint all the way out, just the centers. That again will add some more visual interest. If I painted the whole flower, it'd be a little bit boring, but just painting the center adds a little bit more depth, a little bit more visual interest to the card. And painting the upper portions of those smaller cards, and I'm just working my way around. I'm doing col one color at a time, one color at a time. That's why I don't have to clean my brush every time. It just saves a little bit of time. And I'm almost done here. So the next thing I'm going to do is going to clean off my brush really good, and I'm going to use the Clean Clear Water. And I'm going, that's all it is, it's just water, and I'm going right on top of those leaves, those solid, semi-solid leaves. This is going to reactivate that ink that I stamped down, and I will end up basically picking it up and moving it all around and kind of filling in some of those lines that were open with no ink with some of that um, watered-down ink. And it's just really pretty. It makes the ink more solid and fills it, it makes the leaf more solid and just fills it in. It makes it really pretty. Okay, I cleaned up my acrylic block and I did a little bit of peace of mind, smushed it down onto the block, mixed it with water, and I'm using that peace of mind, that watered down peace of mind ink, to finish off those small flowers. I'm painting the base of those flowers, and that's going to be the last bit of watercoloring here. And you'll be able to see it here, all that watercoloring, super easy, really fun, really pretty. Okay, so I wanted a little bit more interest. I thought my it was a little flat, so. I die cut three celebrates <laughs> using the celebrate word die and I'm going to adhere them together so they're, they have some dimension and then I will eventually adhere that right on top of my stamped celebrate. I'm just using a multimedia mat here and my brush to get that glue onto this, the sentiment and I'm just sticking them together. I could also have done that with craft foam or you know black craft foam and run it ran it through my um, cuddle bug, but I like the slightly thinner. It's not as thick because I will be adding craft foam on the back of this panel. So um, real quick note: you guys can try um, if you have dye inks at home. You can try to do this watercoloring with your dye inks that you already have. Um, some dye inks work better than others, um, but just give it a try. It doesn't hurt to try. You know, try on some scrap paper and before you commit to maybe a big old piece of watercolor paper because watercolor paper is a little bit expensive. And yeah, give it a try. It's a lot of fun. And it's a really simple way to add some, to, to color your images as opposed to markers. So now I added some craft or some adhesive to the, I'm sorry tape foam, foam tape, there we'll get it, to the back of that panel and I adhered the panel onto my card and now I'm just doing some multimedia mat on the back of that dimensional sentiment and I'll adhere that right on top of my stamped celebrate. And that will be all for this card. So if you want any more product info on this, the, the product I used, please go to waffleflower.com and follow us on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook for more wonderful, wonderful creative ideas. I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next Tuesday with more techniques.